In this tutorial, learn how to wire and program a dual four-digit seven-segment display with an ESP32 node MCU to display numbers. This project is perfect for beginners and DIY enthusiasts looking to add simple visual output to their electronics projects. We'll guide you step-by-step -step through the entire process, from setting up the hardware connections to coding in the Arduino IDE. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to wire an ESP32 to two four-digit seven-segment displays, common anode, red. In this project, you will need ESP32 node MCU, 2x four-digit seven-segment display, header pins, PCB board, 9 by 15 centimeters. In this demonstration, we showcase two types of PCBs for wiring the seven-segment LED displays. The first type features the LED displays soldered directly onto the PCB board, offering a compact and fixed setup. The second type uses header pins, which makes it much easier to replace the displays if needed. Additionally, using header pins allows the display to protrude slightly, making it suitable for mounting directly behind a front glass panel for a cleaner and professional look. The directly soldered PCB, on the other hand, does not offer this flexibility and is better suited for applications where replacement or precise alignment isn't a concern. For optimal flexibility and ease of use, we recommend soldering both the ESP32 and the LED place components without desoldering, making maintenance and upgrades far more convenient. To assemble the PCB, First place the ESP32 and the LED display onto the PCB through the female header pins, aligning them according to the placement shown in the video. Ensure both components are seated securely and straight. Once positioned, solder all the header pins to the PCB to establish a firm connection for the ESP32 and the LED display. This setup not only provides stability but also an LED display, proceed to solder the wiring connections between the two as per the provided diagram. Carefully connect each pin of the ESP32 to the corresponding segment and digit pins of the LED display, ensuring accurate wiring for proper functionality. Double-check each connection to avoid shorts or incorrect pin mappings, which could cause display errors or damage to the components. Here's how to wire the segments step by step. Segment A. Connect segment A of both displays in parallel, join their segment A terminals together, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 13. Seg segment C. Connect segment C of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 27. Segment D. Connect segment D of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 26. Segment E. Connect segment E of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 25. Segment F. Connect segment F of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 33. Segment G. Connect segment G of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 32. Decimal point, DP connect the DP terminal of both displays in parallel, then connect this combined terminal to ESP32 pin 12. Once these connections are made, move on to the digit control wiring for each display. Connect digit 1 of display 1 to ESP32 pin 4. Connect digit 2 of display 1 to ESP32 pin 15. Connect digit 3 of display 1 to ESP32 pin 18. Connect digit 4 of display 1 to ESP32 pin 5. Connect digit 1 of display 2 to ESP32 pin 19. Connect digit 2 of display 2 to ESP32 pin 21. Connect digit 3 of display 2 to ESP32 pin 22. Connect digit 4 of display 2 to ESP32 pin 23. Once you've completed the wiring, 
connect your ESP32 board to your PC or laptop using a USB cable. This will power the ESP32. Next, open the Arduino IDE on your computer. In the IDE, load the sample code provided in the video description. This code is specifically designed to test the display and show numbers on the LED display. Ensure that you've selected the correct ESP32 board and port in the Arduino IDE. Follow these steps. Go to Tools A Board and select the correct ESP32 board model. Go to Tools A Port and select the port to which your ESP32 is connected. Once you've made these selections, click the check mark button to compile the code. The IDE will verify for any errors in the code. If the code compiles successfully without errors, click the Upload button, the right arrow, to upload the code to the ESP32. After the upload completes, a confirmation message will appear, indicating that the code has been uploaded successfully. Your ESP32 will now start executing the code, and the LED display should show the desired output based on the uploaded code. For further clarification, We've included in-depth explanations of these features in other segments of this video series. Additionally, you'll find more code examples related to LED display projects, helping you expand your skills and explore more creative applications. If this video was helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to keep creating valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support makes a big difference, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you.